Good evening, family, and welcome to Dale Chanel Sport 8 Squirrel, featuring the family affair. And I am just like new edition. Can you stand the rain? Can you roar? Sunny day. Everybody loves them. Tell me, can you, can you stand the rain? Thoughts will come. This we know for sure. Can you stand the rain? With Mark and Nene, honey, because they are bringing it to you all the way from a commentary blog you site named All About the Tea. Yes, Lord. All About the Tea is breaking it down for Z. Oh, God, I'm just saying, fam. Trying to rhyme here and trying to get my butt in the bed as well. This is the last video for tonight, okay? But let's get right on into it. It was a staff writer uh, over there at All About Tea. They named their article The Real Reason. Mark Daly chose Nene Leaks over his wife, Daniel Moore. Okay, now we all know we ain't here for the shits, okay? We ain't here for the shits, so we just gonna say Mark and Kenya are just friends, okay? Had a mutual agreement, and it seems like Kenya wanted a little bit more than what Mark signed up for. Okay, but we go on into the article. It says, Kenya Moore x Mark Daly has been Team Nene during the current season on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Shutting down Kenya's ongoing push to diss her co-star. Mark even forced his wife to apologize and make amends with Kenya when Kenya didn't invite Nene to a charity event earlier this season. Okay, an insider is spilling the real tea behind Mark's daily's attitude and why he remains in Nene's corner as the season plays out. Ooh, family, we got to talk. Let's talk about this family. Let's talk about it because it's going to get deep, okay? Y'all like twirl. And y'all know that's that, that, that's contact, some green contacts in Kenya's eyes. <laughs> Down to her fake hair. Okay, because that ain't all Kenya hair. She wearing a, a piece right now. Okay. And that behind is allegedly not her behind either. I'm like, is any parts of Kenya real? I just want to know. With a real Kenya more stand up, stand up. With a real Kenya more stand up. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, it says before the season even started filming, Mark. Saw how Kenya plotted with Kenya. Ooh, let's go back. Let's read that again, okay? Who is she conspiring with? It says before the season even started filming, Mark saw how Kenya plotted with Candy and Cynthia on the phone. Oh, yes, they did. That's what all about the tea. Snitch, informant, however you want to call it, the source is telling all about the tea. Now, all of this allegedly in my book. I don't know if all about the tea saying is not alleged. It's the truth. But I'm going to say on this year channel with the family of Bell, we're going to say allegedly, even though we kind of thought some conspiracy shit was going on anyway, okay, to take down Nene Lee's. All right. Y'all always trying to say I'm taking down the black woman. But look who's trying to take down who, okay? Y'all ready for Ken? Y'all ready for Cynthia? And y'all ready for Kenya Moore twirl? Okay. But it seems like they were all in cahoots to bring down Nene Lee. Now, if you take Nene out there for you, say if you did successfully get that done, Kenya, who do you think they were going to come for next? Girl, do you think Candy and Cynthia were going to allow you to sit on the throne? Especially Candy when she was sitting up there trying to get to the throne herself because all her life she's been somebody back up she's been in the shadows of something or someone and she thinks she got a, pip a pivotal role here on real housewives of life so you really think she's gonna let you sit in the queen's seat and be silent about it no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am okay we're going back to the article it says candy and cynthia were in cahoots with Kenya. And they were plotting daily on the phone. Okay, about ways to isolate Nene from the group. I mean, every day a source told all about the tea. It was happening every day. So, I mean, Kenya, Candy, and Cynthia, they had nothing to do but to sit and think about Nene all day long. Now, y'all tell me who's pressed, who's pressed. Nene don't need no more press. Nene don't need no more press. Press, press, okay? 
don't find my part of me voice. But anyway, okay, I'm just saying now, people. Y'all saying Kenya the shit out there, Kenya the shit. Why they plotting up on OG? Okay. I might have to give Nene her player card just back for the reunion, okay? Because she uh, brought out a little snippet put up a little song that you can bop your head to. It's kind of nice. It was stuff. Like, give me that honey. I can't, I can't sing the rest of it because I only listened to it one time. But I really felt it was better than Tartar for the party. And that mess Kenya Moore brought out from some Toro. Toro and them little disco dancing pants back in the uh, seven that she had on on the uh, Watch What Happened Live show. She was premiering that little song called Twirl. Twirl. I'm like, girl, sometimes Kenya move like she a white woman. You know, just a, you know, just, I'm stereotyping and I know some white women can get down and do that darn thing. Because for all black folk can't dance either. I'm just saying no one of them. I can two step. I can two. I can. I can, I can oh. Take the two step and two step the hell out of a two step. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me. Okay, that's just me. But anyway, um, yeah. It's a crime and a shame. It's a crime, shame, and a scandalous. Okay? How y'all be talking about them three? Okay? I'm talking about y'all talking about they the three musketeers. They the three stooges looking like to me. Now I'm talking about Kenya, Candy, and Cynthia. Yeah, yeah. KKC. A CKK. How y'all want to see it, honey? They act in fake, fraudulent, fooling, and fraudulent uh, activity. Their whole demeanor is just trying to take out Nene. That's how it started. Now, it seemed like they probably initiated portion on some parts of the front. All right. But it didn't work out. It didn't work out. It didn't work out to plan. Okay. But anyway, it says um, the end of no source revealed. The trio's ultimate end game. They were seriously trying to get Nene fired, and seeing this ugly side of Kenya Moore was a major turnoff to Maul. The insider shared with the All About the Tea cast. Okay, so the All About the Tea dot com, uh, probably interview or whatnot. He listened to the mother of his child be vindictive. And scheme to bully one person that that softened his heart towards Nene. Okay, the tipster explained why Mark Daly agreed to appear on the show against his better judgment. Mark hates drama, and this was the main reason he did not want to do the show. But Kenya begged him and promised him that Bravo would film at his Brooklyn restaurant. But they never did. This snitch dish, and they never did. All right, Kenya's such a liar. He's such a liar, liar, liar. She lied to him and that pissed him off. He came on to promote his business, not for petty drama. The source revealed that the couple's relationship was already on the rocks when filming season kicked off. Mark became detached from Kenya before filming started. He was over it. So by the time filming started, it was all down here from there. The relationship was already on its last leg, source said. And this is a source, okay? Source closer to either Kenya or closer to Maul. I'm going to say closer to Maul. And they're just spilling the beans, honey. Spilling the beans. And I oh, didn't care what flavor it was serving up. They were telling everybody and everything. And don't get me wrong. I do. I do sympathize with Cynthia a little bit. Uh, she definitely did. Uh, Nene did do Cynthia wrong, you know, trying to say Cynthia ain't got no place on the show, this, that, and third. I'm like, damn, why are you trying to get rid of another OG that's been there with you along with Marlo? You know what I'm saying? Y'all pretty much in the same uh, age group. Form your own uh, alliance with one another. The OGs against the young Gs, you know what I'm saying? Make it like that. Y'all so mixed up in between. It, 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 ooh. So decisive. So decisive again. Why would we have drama? That's what we want. Y'all give it to us. But I'm just saying. Let's pretty much uh, air out Kenya Moore's dirty laundry when she do dirt. Okay, now I can see her wanting to do dirt. She want to get back in because the whole thing about her faking a marriage, not letting Bravo know about it. Because you know Bravo... They won't. They don't want to get sued. So that marriage had to be kosher. It had to be for real. So when Kenya wasn't coming with no receipts, she know she didn't have no receipts. She couldn't inform Bravo 
of the dealings, okay? And then when they want to show her wedding or her getting married again, you know, reinstituting her marriage and stuff, and they wanted to film it, uh-uh, Mark went with that shit. He said, no, this wasn't, this wasn't what we were planning. Because I got another life. Now, I want to resolve, dissolve this one so I can get back to where I was, okay? It was just a money transaction. I made a free booty here and there going on. You know, some kicks between the sheets, okay? Do -do -do. Making love between the sheets. That's my, and have, that's what you probably had a little bit of your contract because the man is fine. Oh, yes, he is. But anyway, besides that thing, what y'all think about this article? That uh, all about the tea had brought out on Kenya Moore and Candy Burris and Cynthia conspiring against Nene. Let me get me, don't get me wrong, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't with them. I mean, I'm not against them conspiring and trying to, you know, sever the ties because Nene has definitely done her dirt. Yes, she has. She tried to get rid of, tried to get rid of Cynthia. Uh, probably tried to get rid of all of them. Tell you the truth, but it's like all fair love and war. We up here trying to do some drama. In this reality world, that's all they really want. Who can come with the best storyline? Who can come with the most drama filled uh, storyline for us to partake of? Okay, that's truly what it is. So I give them that. But I guess it's just a presentation of it all. You know what I'm saying? And keeping up with what lies you tell so you don't have to come back and stumble and be like, oh, I said it was East. Why well, I meant to say West. You know what I'm saying? No, be consistent. If you're going to be a good liar, professional liar, be consistent. Okay, be the best professional liar you can be. That ain't your shit, all right? But don't be all willy-nilly and then come back. You don't say it this, but then on another day you say it that, and then it's just all coming together so you're making up new lies. Ah! And see, that's what Kenya was doing. She can't keep up with which lie she told on which day, how she told it, when she told it. You know, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to be a professional liar, be the best one that's out there, okay? But, uh-uh, she need to do something else. I'm like, damn, I'm ready to get rid of Kenya Moore again, you know? I ain't really never want her to come back, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, bring Shamil back. Right, I want Shamari. That when I saw Shamil. Bring um, Shamari to go back. I don't think we gave her a fair chance. I think we got rid of her too fast. And definitely bring Yovana back. Or when she said, no, ma'am, your man's the snake. I almost fell out my seat laughing. I'm like, ooh, he's the snake. <laughs> ooh. That made Portia get, Portia get up out of her seat and like, uh-uh, I know you didn't say that. I'm like, anger management, Portia, we don't send you to that class. Do we have to send you to another one or, or two or three more? Okay, do what we got to do, Portia. Sit your behind down, okay? So I ain't mad at more. I mean, if he's an upstanding gentleman and he tried to make it work, but then he saw what his so-called alleged contractual agreement wife was doing behind the back, just to draw more attention for herself, to draw more uh, people uh, congregating to her as a likable cast member of the show and trying to dog Nene out. He knew what was going on behind the scenes. Yeah, I can see why I would turn his thumb up and he would want to be like, uh, -uh I ain't got time for all this stuff. And I could see why he wanted to be in Nene's car. He saw her as the underdog, as the one people were trying to get and, and make fun of and try to bring down. And I guess he's like, you know, everybody can have a piece of the pie. You don't have to bring somebody down by talking about them and putting out lies on them and trying to destroy them. Let your own things speak for itself, meaning your character, your morale, uh, or how you get down and bringing people to gravitate towards you in this arena of uh, dramatization or reality TV. They're going to like who they like anyway, but you don't have to go to those depths of degradation and degrading somebody the way Candy and it seems like Candy and, and uh, Portia was on the road of doing to Nene. But like I said, yeah, I get all of them in check. You know, when I get red, I don't really have no real, real favorite. You know what I'm saying? I like them all and, you know, in sequence. You know what I'm saying? But it's just how you get down and you try to pay somebody back for dirt you think they did to you. Sometimes it's just a little too much for me and my taste, okay? And then sometimes you're right on point. But everything that Kenya does, she does so maliciously. I'm like, do like, um, what's an American medicine? Um, 
Dr. Heaven to do sometimes. She'll say, you know, you do something wrong to her, you say something wrong, she'll say your mama. <laughs> I mean, she'll do something. She don't have to be bringing other people in the situation like she did with Tanya Sams and the cookie lady and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, girl, woo, because wouldn't you be, wouldn't it be wrong if um, Tanya Sams came up on her confessionals or when she's doing her reunion piece, she had the woman that said or, you know, was saying she was the woman Kenya Moore was having on speakerphone cussing out. She is the mistress. Now, wouldn't that be some salacious? Uh, a, a reunion of a ooh, explosive nothing else could happen for me if that happened that's all I would need to see at a reunion so I'm like ooh touche score that wasn't in but all net Tanya Sam's girl but see that didn't mean or poor she can do it for Tanya however but that would be the salacious piece I would love to see it thrown back into Kenya Moore's face oh god but anyway, that's all I have for this video. Y'all get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all felt about all about the tea bringing this salacious story out on Kenya Moore and her other conspir conspirators trying to bring out Nene Lee's. Okay. Smile in her face. Put the dagger in her back. Smiling faces. Smiling faces. Tell lies. And I got a poop. I don't know if y'all know about that kind of song, girl. Y'all better listen to 102.9 in Atlanta, Georgia, girl. And more old school uh, radio personalities who play old school music. Old school, well, old school, school, old school music. Lord have mercy. Let me get in the bed. I'm getting kind of tongue dry. Damn, tongue tied. All right, it's time for me to go, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all thought. And don't forget to share, subscribe, and share my videos okay i'll see y'all next video bye-bye or good night i should say